my daughter is um, beginning her Tassio Mancy training, which is tea leaf reading. She made wonderful, beautiful teacups uh, for it, and um, I'm just waiting for her to uh, brew the tea leaves. We have real tea leaves. We're not going to do uh, grounds because we actually drink um, tea leaves, you know, in the diffuser. So it should be easier to read. And I'm just waiting for her to uh, do that. And then I'm going to um, record what the teacups look like. And um, then I'll drink my tea. And then uh, you guys can see my current fortune. It's interesting, right? Alright, meet you in a couple seconds. Sugar on the iced tea. These bitches don't like me. These bitches won't fight me. And doing shit just to spite me. Okay, guys, here's the uh, teacups. Uh, I, I want to say this one has oolong in it. And I want to say... Uh, this one has just a trick. No, this one's a green. That's what it is. This one's a green and this one's a oolong. I can tell by the color. Okay, you can see the cups. You see these. There's one right here already. So whatever this is closest to, uh, it's going to count as part of the fortune too. And yeah, so once I drink, then there will be leaves stuck on the side. And that's how we'll be able to tell the fortune. I don't know if she's going to do the whole dump thing on the plate or not after. After she reads, after I drink. Because sometimes people do that too. But I guess we'll find out what happens as we go on. But look, I want to point out something to you guys. She has a magnet right here. And this tea leaf is closest to the magnet. And look, I want you to see there's a tea leaf that's rising right here on the magnet too. So off top, even before I drink, you can tell that. I don't know how she's going to interpret the magnet, but the magnet is part of my current fortune, okay? Alright, so I'm going to let these cool down for just a second, and then I'm going to drink, and then I'm going to let her, uh, you know, decipher what the fortune is. Okay, so the first one is drunk. You can see there's just a sip left in there. She is going to do a swirl. I'm going to set this up. So it captures it while she's doing it. So, all right. See what your future is. All right. Let's see what's going on here. You actually have a really positive fortune. Are we recording the fortune too? Yep. Alright. So. The biggest piece. Uh -huh. Is on the lucky clover. So. You're about to hit a really lucky period. And then you have this leaf. That is connected between the cross. And. The shooting star. So, so something that you have a really, really, really strong faith in. Uh huh. It's like something that you've been wishing for. It's about to bring you some luck, and then you have the sun. So it's like a really, really bright future along with all this luck with something that you want to do. Uh huh. And then you have a leaf that is on um. The crystal ball. So your future may have something to do with divination. Oh! <laughs> imagine that! <laughs> and it's like a little tail going on here from the sun and the crystal ball all the way to the rainbow. So I guess you're kind of following a rainbow and then there's going to be a pot of gold on the end. Okay, okay. And it could be a happy future because, you know, gay, happy. <laughs> oh, okay. And you have a leaf on uh, the compass rose, so you are taking a new direction and you need to follow that direction. Okay. And then the last leaf is on the lollipop, so things are looking really sweet. 
but it's also connected to the letter. So you might actually get a sweet letter. Okay, okay. You have a little leaf on the butterfly. So maybe... Mm, Okay, so maybe things may be taking a little while to take off, but mm -hmm. soon things are going to start to flourish. Okay. And then you have Itty Bitty Leaves by the Heart Eyes and the Mars sign. So, maybe a romantic interest in your life you may have a small role, but they have a role in this future. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm seeing here. Oh, you have a little one over by the fish, too. Yeah, so. A man in your life may bring some sort of small fortune your way. Okay. All right. Hmm. The fact that these leaves are getting really, really, really close to center is that your journey is actually getting really closer to completion. Okay, okay. You have some loose ends that you need to tie together. Mm-hmm. In some of the beginning stages, but yeah, you're getting really close to finishing up everything. And that's what's going on with your fortune with this cup. All right. Now, guys, I'm going to drink this one really quick. Yes, this is unsweetened. For those of you that want to know, do you use sweetened tea or unsweetened? Me, personally, I wouldn't use sweetened. I, you know, I don't want to sweeten the fortune in any way. Then that's exactly what I said. I don't want it sweetened anyway. I want it raw, uncut, okay? So I'm going to drink this really quick and we'll be back. I, I should have just left it going on so y'all can see how quick I drank that. I'm a tea drinker. <laughs> I don't usually drink with sugar anyway, so it was a quick gulp for me. But um, clearly this was the oolong. I, I, I told y'all earlier I wasn't for sure. Oolong tastes wonderful without sugar. I just wanted to add that in, guys, in case you all do decide to drink some tea at home. Okay, let's see where this one's going to go. All right, let's see what your fortune is. Not that much came out on that way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. A lot of it went towards the bell. So, there's something really urgent that's about to happen. Mm-hmm. And it's actually on the Mercury one, too. So, some sort of emergency communication is about to happen. Mm-hmm. I think something like that was in your other reading. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. So it's going together. Let's see if I can get... There we go. That cut better. Okay, so... It is a lot on the start on this one, too. So maybe it's something fateful that's emergency. Um... You're probably going to go out and have a fun time soon. Maybe for drinks. Mm -hmm. You have a lot on the heart, too. So, and the other one, the romantic aspect wasn't in focus as much but this one does so maybe the other one was about your professional life mm -hmm. and this one's about your personal life okay mm. i do see um
some sort of malicious intent probably towards you but it's like it's around it and not on it so maybe it doesn't get to you or it's about to be put into the past i caught that today in a, a daily horoscope i will uh most likely insert the picture of that right here uh my tours daily it says something about uh someone's malicious intent But after it, then you have, like, tea leaves on the sun, so you get the positive outcome. You have a tea leaf on Jupiter, so yeah, luck is definitely in your favor, just like the other one. So you're just in the lucky period overall. So it's looking like, yeah, things are going to come your way. Mm -hmm. but you come out on top on all of it mm -hmm. um, but I think you're missing the point because it's all these leaves and they just circle around the center dot yes but they're not on the center dot okay so there may be a point that you're actually missing I think so too like, legit. I think so, too, because this is uh, based off of my romantic life. So, I was telling um, everybody on the channel yesterday, like, I, I kind of feel like my situation ship was coming to an end, but I really don't. But it's, I, I feel like something's missing, but in the end, when I start talking through it, I kind of feel like I'm missing the point. It's not necessarily that it isn't there. So, I would agree. There's something I'm really missing. And then the last part I'm seeing here is that these leaves made it on every single one except for the pinnacle one. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's something in the actual physical aspect that you're missing. Like you probably have the spiritual part mm -hmm. on lot, but it's the physical part that you're missing. And also you have some leaves on uh, the cross. So. Yeah, there's definitely something crossing you. Mm-hmm. So, maybe while there's people coming for you with malicious intent, mm -hmm. I think that your biggest setback is probably yourself in some sort of way. Okay. But, uh, this cup definitely wanted to tell you that there is uh, some sort of emergency communication coming your way, so you need to be on the lookout for that. Okay. And... Um. Here, you have tea leaves, basically mainly focused on Pisces and Aries. So, maybe you know someone on that cusp, mm -hmm. or maybe you might get some communication from both those signs. Mm -hmm. But I think that the Pisces person is going to dance around whatever it is they're trying to say, uh -huh. and Aries is going to come forceful with it. Okay. And you might actually get a little bit of communication from a Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Nothing too strong. It's just like a, hey, how you doing? Just checking up on you. Okay, okay. Uh, also... I don't think it's communication, but I think that somebody that's a Leo or has Leo in their chart mm -hmm. may play some sort of role soon. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're watching you. It's like you don't communicate with them, but they're there, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that the last one here is the fact that we're in Virgo season, so... I think that a lot of stuff is about to go down mm -hmm. during these last few days of Virgo season. Yeah. So, you need to keep your eye out for all that, and that's what's going on with this reading. All right. I appreciate that. I really do. That was interesting. Um, You guys encourage Chinky to do her own channel. <laughs> Comment down below. I mean, she could make a whole channel just doing tea leaf readings alone. They're interesting, they're fun, 
they're spot on I, I hope you guys really enjoyed it i enjoyed it i want to hurry up and edit this so i can put it on the page and uh, i will be back with some sort of pick a card today as well okay see you in the next video <laughs>